Hey, it's me, Jay Evans, and it's time for us to talk the talk. And guess what today is, Apple Pies? It's Sizzling Sunday when I give you all a full-on show. We talk about the things that happen throughout the week. So let's chop it up like veggies in a food processor and cover things that happen Monday through Saturday. And let's bake this up like an apple pie a la mode. So what are we talking about right here, right now? Mark Anthony and Evelyn Lazada. I'm doing a review on Ayana Fix My Life that Ayana had Shay. Did y'all see that? Shay and Ayana. I'm reviewing that. I'm also doing a review on one of the best live albums ever made. We're also talking about Wendy Williams and her former DJ, DJ Booth. Tiffany Haddish in Coming Everywhere. NeNe Leakes. Jesus. Tyra Banks. And then we're going to talk about the new HPIC. That is the head peach in charge. And then we'll even touch on 45 meeting with Lil Wayne. Now, before we get into that, let me roll this disclaimer to you and yours. All topics are alleged and allegedly. They are strictly for gossip and entertainment purposes only. So, don't come for me saying, oh, Jay Evans, I'm going to sue you. No, it's alleged and allegedly, okay, before we go any further. Because the only thing I own outright is this can of Cavender's Greek seasoning. Shout out to my apple pie, Laria. My girl put me on to this seasoning. Jay Evans loves to cook. My girl, Laria, loves to cook. This seasoning is delicious, baby. When I tell you it is the biz night, like little Scrappy say, the biz night, this is it. Now, the reason why you can have this, if you come for me, is because it's not but this much left. Y'all hear that? You can have this can, baby. Allegedly, I got a whole nother can. <laughs> yeah, stay stocked up, y'all. We might be going back into quarantine. Now, if you are not one of my Apple Pies, that's my subscribers. Go ahead and subscribe so we can stay connected. Set your notifications so that you'll see when I upload new videos. Now, you can click in that description. If you haven't caught up with me, it it has videos there. You can follow me on social media. That's listed as well, Apple Pies. And also, go to my playlist. It's videos of me running my mouth about any and everything. So, y'all, let's go ahead and talk the talk and get into this, baby. Now, Mark Anthony and J-Lo and Evelyn. I had to throw J-Lo's name in there for a reason, and I'm going to tell you why. Y'all know they used to be married, but Mark Anthony is denying being in a relationship with Evelyn Goldigger Lazada, okay? The reason why I put J-Lo's name in there, because if he's in an actual relationship with Evelyn, that's like going from a mansion, J-Lo, to the projects, uh, Evelyn. It's like stepping on down, baby. Uh, I, I can't. Now, let's get into some of this information. I like J-Lo. If you have my love and I give you all my... Y'all see how my voice got light and soft like hers. Now, this is via Bossip. I got this information from over there where Mark Anthony reps responded and they told us weekly the reports of anything going on between the rumored duo are totally false according to anthony's rep he simply offered lozada and her family to stay in his house while he was away really that's the I love uh PR people. I should have been in PR because they like to spin it. Now they also <laughs> said who knew that Mark and um Evelyn even knew each other, especially well enough for him to offer her a place to stay. What do y'all think, Apple Pies? Cause I think Evelyn to me is what they call a mean girl. Now, Evelyn, y'all remember her on Basketball Watch, hopping on the table, running to fight people. Sis, you just ain't ran up on the right person, baby. Because somebody that's for real would do nuck if you buck and knock you out. I don't condone people putting their hands on people. But Evelyn has a nasty attitude and she goes way too far. So, Mark Anthony, I hope you have not went from a mansion like Jenny from the Block into the projects like... Evelyn, Lord, 
be a shield, Jesus, and give him strength, apple pies. Now, let's roll over into this review. It was on Ayana Fix My Life. And she had Shay Johnson. Y'all remember Shay was on Flavor of Love. She's even done a couple of the Love and Hip Hop franchises. And then she was on Charm School with Monique. Now, last night the episode came on. If you did not catch it, if you need a recap and review, click that description. It has me recapping all of the drama. Now, what did I think about Ayana? I don't agree with all of her tactics. Now, the part where she confronted Shay's mom about saying bad things about Shay, I think that should have been corrected. But the way that Ayana handled Shay as far as telling her, like, shut up when she was trying to talk, that, that woman is a grown adult like you are. Any adult deserves respect. Now, I did watch Shay's live, and she said some things were edited. So, everything is not the way that it does seem. But I think Ayana sometimes hits below the belt and goes too far. Because she was so nice to Shay's brothers. Those brothers were looking good. Oh, yes, baby. I'm in breakdown over them, especially the one with the beard, MJ. I'm in breakdown. Um, But I felt like she's always nicer to the guy she was cool with the brothers then with shay oh girl chest this out and shay was like okay then the mom shay's mom miss sandra oh you're dressed like you're going to church ayana so you want her to come on tv looking a hot garbage can mess because you're always dressed like you're going to bible study and you want to be the solo star in the front row or the solo star doing all the songs every sunday and can't nobody else sing but you ayana so y'all get into that that's what i thought about ayana i feel like some of her tactics are just like she's out here giving me the cuckoo bird the cocoa for cocoa puffed bird because she's vicious sometimes now let's roll into this let's review apple pies because i love music and this is a good one it's one of the best live albums ever known to man baby it is by a singer that i feel like vocally she's on appreciated and she's underrated but this is a soul singing sister baby this is natalie live by the legendary miss natalie cole y'all this album is amazing i love it i listen to it natalie was on top of her game when she dropped this one, baby. Now, let me give y'all some history and backlog on my girl, Natalie. This album, Apple Pies, was recorded in 1978. It's a double album, and it went gold. Now, she recorded this album in two locations, in Los Angeles, California, and then in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, okay? It was produced by... Marvin Yancey and Chuck Jackson. Now, they are producers that worked with her at the height of her career. And Marvin Yancey was also married to Natalie from 1976 until 1980. Now, they did get a divorce. But these producers, these two, um, Marvin and Chuck, to me, brought out some of the best amazing sounds in Natalie. Now, they originally took the songs that they had and shopped them to Aretha Franklin and allegedly she turned them down. That's how they came up with Natalie's debut album. Now she was signed to Capitol Records that her dad, Nat King Cole, was also signed to, but she was hesitant to sign because she didn't want to follow in his footsteps. And I think she ch really carved out her own niche. She became her own woman and became great in her own right. Now, Natalie Live to me has so many great songs. You get to hear her voice. She has sophisticated lady. Mr. Melody, she wails on that song, baby. Um, she has Our Love, which is a classic song. She remakes Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. It also has Party Lights. I love that song because it's so funky. Natalie can do anything. She's done soul, disco, rock, pop, jazz, everything. She is completely versatile. Now, Natalie also gave the girls a run for their money. That's right, baby. In 1975, when Natalie came out, Aretha and Diana were the top 
um, artists putting it down, and she gave them a run for her money. In 1976, she won a Grammy for Best New Artist. She also won a Best R&B Performance. Now, Aretha had nabbed that award from 1968 to 1975, but Natalie came and snatched it on up, baby, and then won again in 1977. For sophisticated lady. Hey, go, Natalie. So, Natalie was serving the girls, okay? She had the girls like, where she come from? This, that daughter? No, baby, it's Natalie, her own. So, Apple Pies get into this album. I love it. I can't say enough about it. Natalie, me and you, we will always be together. Saying, sis, I love. Hey, we'll stand as tall as the tree. I love. Hey, hey. Okay, Natalie, I love you. Baby, I'm going to go listen to that after I come back from the store and running my errands. Yes, baby, I'm going to listen to Natalie Cole Apple Pies. Get into it. Y'all go check out Natalie. Now, let's roll into this because that got me all hyped up, baby. I love music. Um, This next one, Apple Pies, is on Wendy Williams in DJ Booth. Now, this is via from in the no radio on instagram this is where i pulled this from and they said wendy williams appears to have relapsed um amidst the 13th season of her show now somebody posted and said wendy you need to stop your show seriously get help your cap is just watching you spiral instead of sending help shame on them I'll be boycotting the show until you check into rehab. Drugs will kill you. Please get help. Now, somebody responded and said, see, she don't listen to them. Probably why DJ Booth left the show. And Booth chimed in. <laughs> he must have been watching. And he said, yup, exactly. And it will come out. Y'all have no idea. That's really um, what's going on and everyone there is afraid to speak up because they don't want to lose their jobs This is going to play out bad. I feel sorry for the workers and victims have a blessed day now That is his response Allegedly apple pies, but do y'all think Wendy is having a problem now the episode they show she was kind of slurred Wendy apple pie that's serious. If you need help, somebody show Wendy this video. Don't be out here acting. That's right. Say it with me. A bunny hop, jackrabbit fool, and not even the delicious Nestle bunny. Sis, if you need help, go get it, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with getting some help. Now, let's roll over into Tiffany Haddish in common. Because, mm -mm -mm. Wendy, you out here chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Dum, 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 dum. Tiffany Haddish in common. Are they on? Are they off? Are they a light switch? Turn them on. Turn them off. I can't deal with it. Turn off the lights. If y'all going to turn off the lights, just be done, baby. Now, this is via Bicep. They reported... Um, as one of the outlets, Tiffany Haddish and Comet no, no longer follow each other on social media. Now, everybody looked it up and clicked in the names. Then, the Jasmine brand reported, it's all love between Tiffany Haddish and Comet. Um, they jumped on IG Live and they talked sweetly to each other. And then they said, um, I love you to each other. Like Miss Franklin used to sing, I love you and I love you too. Baby, will you call me the moment you get there? No. Now, let me tell y'all something, Apple Pies. Sometimes if you're in a relationship, it's not good to put that out there and it's not good to tell people your business unless you really can handle that. But all this following and unfollowing, don't do it. If y'all done had a little fight, a little tip, just be sure for a couple of months until you be like, you know what, I'm done with this fool. Let me unfollow you. But could they possibly just got on Instagram Live to save face and just said, Okay, we just going to make this smooth and follow each other, and I really don't mess with you. Now, allegedly, a lot of y'all say coming can't do right and can't keep a woman, and allegedly, some of y'all say Tiffany Haddish is too loud, like a car that needs a damn tune-up. <laughs> Tiff, sis, I don't know what's going on. Now, um, coming also address Jaguar right. I did a video on that. Click the description, and y'all can hear the audio, and it is 
allegedly his voice if you go to the site all the information is listed is from an instagram source but um he's responding to jaguar y'all know jaguar stays any and everywhere baby she is always um in something now let's roll to this one on nini um do your nose a thousand times muffet baby knows leaks and tyra banks now <clears throat> Nene addressed this via her Instagram show. <laughs> Nene is, I guess, about to come out with the show. She has some of the gays on there. Let me talk about this. Because I'm on the rainbow. I'm throwing my Skittles in there. I'm waving them like I just don't care. But why can't Nene ever do something by herself? Like on the show, she always had to show up and bring a friend. Now, if you're going to read people, you can't read them by yourself, sis. You got to have uh your friends like it's Scooby Doo and Thelma and Shaggy and Scooby and y'all in a mystery machine, sis. You can't hand out reads by yourself. Now, this is what I don't like about Nene. She does a lot of things from the gay culture from our world, but <sighs> it's it's tired. Okay? Read by yourself. Even Diana stopped singing with the Supremes when they were singing Baby Love, my baby. And how they was together, Diana said, Nope. I'm coming out. Hey, I want the world to. Diana was on her own, Nene. So why can't you be on your own? Now, this is from Bossup. Now, they're saying um, Nene Leaks recently addressed an alleged comment from an iconic top model reality TV star, Tyra Banks. As Tyra continues her tenure on the being the host of Dancing with the Shop Star, she's been hit with allegations that she recently shaded the TV housewives and said she does not want them on the dance competition show. Now, Nene, um, you know, took to this Instagram live. Allegedly, Tyra made a response and was like, no, um, reality stars are, you know, pulling in ratings. They're pulling in sometimes bigger ratings than actors or singers and why would i not allegedly have her on there now i do think tyra banks is kind of fake even when she was on top model and when she had her talk show she was very corny to me that's just my opinion don't get up in arms we all have them but tyra banks is very corny to me and nene is just a loud mouth bully so y'all might just need to work together baby because loud and corny sometimes can work now speaking of nene claudia jordan read her baby like um a overdue library book and cremated her i did a video on that click that description is listed but nene was being shady about cynthia's wedding and claudia came on in because somebody made a comment um, and it was in regards to the allegations of like abuse with Claudia. Nene came in with the laughing symbols and Claudia read you, baby, down to the ground. She cremated you, baby. You don't even need a casket because um, sis hung you out to dry. <sighs> Ain't no words for it. Now, mm, mm, mm. Uh, speaking of that, they did drop a trailer for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is the 13th season. And my apple pie scooter came up with this idea. Because I love feedback. If you have some feedback or something you want me to cover. If it's something you want me to you know, do a video about. A subject. My email is listed. Social media. You can DM me. All that good stuff. Facebook is listed. Just let me know. So my apple pie scooter. Who also happens to be one of my best friends. Shout out to you. Um, <laughs> came up with this topic and he said about the new HPIC, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. That stands for who's the new head peach in charge, okay? Now, let's roll into who's going to be on this upcoming season. We have Candy Burroughs. She has been a constant peach holder since season two, and she's the longest um, surviving peach, okay? Peaches have come and gone and dried up, but Candy is still here. Now, all of the ladies that were on season one are gone. Candy has not left the show. Nene says she was the tastiest peach in the game, and she's still here since you left a little bit. Candy has been there. Portia Williams, she got her peach during season five. Um, She only had one season where she was not featured as a full peach holder when she dragged Kenya and Molly whopped her and took her down with one yank but Bravo did that as a punishment but she was in every 
episode. So, uh, same thing. Kenya Moore. Kenya is a little tacky and a little messy. Y'all know that's Kenya. She also got her peach um, during season five. She left for one season, but came back. Now, I'm not a Kenya fan, but some things, you know, she tickles me about. Um, but I do think she's good TV, and she thinks... She's going to be the star. You know, she was gunning for Nene's spot. Nene is gone. Is Kenya going to be um, the head peach in charge? Apple Pies? What do y'all think about that? Now, she is more interested than this next person. Cynthia Bailey. She got her peach during season three. Y'all see how I'm quiet and I'm not enthused? I think Cynthia is a sweet person, but I don't know how you have kept that peach her stories are boring. She puts me to sleep. Even with her, when she was running to marry Peter, it was boring. The only thing I liked is that gray wedding dress. Even with her mom and sister being on there, it's boring. She doesn't give me Mama Joy shenanigans in um, Aunt Bertha and um, Aunt oh, Nora. It's just not interesting. I don't know how you've lasted this long, sis, but that is a waste of a good peach. Even when she tried to attempt to be messy, Cynthia didn't give me nothing, baby. She gave me rotten peach. Now, the new peach holder is Drew Sedora. She's the actress that played T-Boss in the Crazy Sexy Cool TLC movie. She was also on the show, The Game, and her character's name was Drew Sedora. Now, I don't think, to me, she deserves a full peach. They need to try these girls out. Give them a peach slice. There's another new girl, and they just gave her a peach slice. Slice, give Drew Sedora a peach slice because you don't need to come in. They mess up and then they give these girls a full peach and then the next season put them off. It, mm -mm. Drew Sedora, I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't take kindly to the new girls now. Maybe I just have to warm up to you, sis, but I don't see you um, deserving a whole peach because you didn't even really give me full t buys in that um TLC movie. Now, let's roll over to this because a lot of people are up in arms about this. Lil Wayne, rapper Lil Wayne, met with 45. He put it out and he said, just had um a great meeting at Edit. I won't say the name. I'm just going to say 45. Besides what he's done so far with criminal reform, the platinum plan is going to give the community real ownership. He listened to what we had to say today and assured he will and can get it done. Now, let me say this. Whoever you want to vote for is who you vote for. I don't tell anybody who to vote for. I just say get out and vote. Election day is this Tuesday. Get out there and vote. Let your voice be heard. So, Jay Evans will never say, don't vote for this person or don't vote for that person. Um, that's your own choice. It's your own beliefs. Most people are influenced by what they grew up in their house, like their parents or whoever raised them, what party they went with. Some people get grown and decide, okay, I want to be with this party. Or they look at the issues. Some people change up who they vote for or what party based on where they stand with the issues like abortion, gay rights, um, you know, these are controversial issues, but that's how a lot of people decide. What I will um, criticize about this meeting is why would you meet with him during election time 45? And why would you, Wayne, want to meet with him? Don't be a pawn. Like, you're not about to use me as a pawn. Even the thing with Ice Cube, when he said, well, I sent something to both parties, nobody responded. Allegedly, they said Kamala Harris agreed to meet with you, Cube, and you did not. Why are y'all letting them use you as a pawn when it's election time? That doesn't make sense. Why wasn't he trying to meet with you in all the four years that he's been in office? Why all of a sudden do you both want to talk with him or giving him props? That's just what I think. Don't be used. Now, you're not going to use me as a pawn. Let me tell you something. You can do your homework. You can do your taxes. But you won't do me and play me. Y'all out here being um, a bunny hop jackrabbit fool. Stop being foolish. Um. Now... Apple Pies, like I said, Tuesday is the day. Get out there and vote. Y'all be sure to catch up on the videos I've done. I'm also going to be doing show reviews um, on Marion Millions when it comes back in January. I'm doing Love After Lockup. Click that description. I did a review. I'm going to be doing this last season of Ayana Fixed My Life. So get ready for me to run my mouth and talk about Ayana. 
<laughs> yes, I'm going to tell you the real deal, Holyfield. Real Housewives of Atlanta is coming back December 6th. I'm doing them. Braxton Family Values is coming back. I'm reviewing them in When Married to Medicine, Atlanta. Not the other one. Atlanta is the only one I watch, baby. I will be reviewing them, y'all. So, that was it for this Sizzling Sunday. I gave y'all a full-on show. I let y'all know the things to look forward to. And I just want everybody to get out there and vote. So, what I'm about to do is I'm about to go run my errands. And when I come back, me and Natalie have a day. And we're going to jam. And I'm going to put on my record, baby. Let me tell y'all something, Apple Pies. Okay? I said in other videos, I'm going to say it again. Get out there and vote. With that being said, there's only one thing left to say. We've talked the talk. Now it's time to walk the walk. Y'all go vote. Tell them that. Let vote. 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 Stop watching this video and vote.